Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated, brought to you by OfficeTeacher.com. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. In the message window, you may click the Options tab in the ribbon, and then click the dialog box launcher that appears in the lower right corner of the More Options group to open the Message Options dialog box. You can change the settings of the individual email that you will send here prior to actually sending the email. Now in the message settings section at the top, you can set the importance and sensitivity of the particular message by using the drop downs that are available. In the voting and tracking options, you can check the check boxes for any tracking options that you want to use by checking either request a delivery receipt for this message or request a read receipt for this message. Also, if you're sending out a poll, you can check the use voting buttons option and then select have voting option buttons placed inside the message which the users can click to respond to the question posed by your email. Choices for voting buttons appear in the drop down after the checkbox and you can select the set that you would like. Note that you can also type your own button labels into the drop down separating them with semicolons. So you can create your own custom voting buttons if you'd like. Now note that this feature will only work on your system if it's running on the Microsoft Exchange Server 2000 or later. Now in the delivery options section if you would like the replies to your email to be sent to someone else's email address, you can enter that person's address into the Have Reply Sent To checkbox. You can also set a delivery date for the message by checking the Do Not Deliver Before checkbox and then entering a date and time. You can also set the message to automatically expire or if not opened by a certain date by checking Expires After and then entering the date and time. You can also select a attachment format if needed and encoding if necessary. Now once you've set all of the options that you would like the email to possess, go ahead and click the close button in the message options dialog box. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!